Hi! Welcome to my channel, CS Digital Web. In today's video, we will learn how to give individual database access to someone using cPanel in shared hosting. You can provide access to a particular folder or directory to anyone, but the challenge is to provide the database access. So, you need to do two things. One, download phpMyAdmin from its official website. Two, create a database using cPanel. Before starting, if you are a new user, you can subscribe to my channel to get the latest video updates. Okay, let's do the practical. Open any browser and search. Download phpMyAdmin. Click on the first link, and it will open the website. Here you can see other versions of PHP MyAdmin. Scroll up and click on the download button, and it will start the downloading. Once downloaded, open the folder. In the next step, go to the browser. Open the cPanel by typing domain name slash cPanel or domain name colon 2083. Enter login details and click on the login button. You can see the cPanel has opened. And now we will upload the downloaded PHP MyAdmin folder in the website root directory. In most cases, the root directory name is public underscore HTML. Inside the public underscore HTML directory, click on the upload button, open the downloaded folder, drag the folder, and drop it inside the uploaded window. Once uploaded, close the window, Go back to the public underscore HTML directory and click on the reload button. Now select the PHP MyAdmin folder and click on the extract button. It will extract the zip file into the directory. Rename the directory to PHP MyAdmin and press enter. You can check the files and directories inside it. We have completed the first step. In the second step, we will create a database using the MySQL database wizard option. Click on it and follow the steps. Create a database with database name, username, password, and save it to any text editor so that you can use it later to access the database without login in the cPanel. I am using Notepad to keep the details. Note that you must create a difficult database name, username, and strong password to make it more secure. We have successfully created the database. Now check, we are unable to access a particular database or not. Open a new tab and access the PHP MyAdmin directory by typing the URL domain name slash PHP MyAdmin. Copy and paste the login credentials and click on the Go button. You have successfully logged into the database and you have only individual database access. Great! Let's create another database and check again.
you can see you have only one database access. You can also rename the phpMyAdmin folder name with any name you want. All done. If you have any queries, please write a comment on the comment box. If you liked my video, press the like button, subscribe, comment, share, and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my new videos.